Hey guys, I'm Cole Patton, here with my friends at Pack Mule to talk to you about basic bike setup. So the first thing to start with in a general rule of thumb is your saddle height. And a, an easy way to do this is hop on your bike and pedal backwards on it. And when you pedal backwards, put your heel on the pedal. And as you reach the bottom of your pedal stroke, your knee should just lock out. And that should generally get you right about where you need to with your saddle height. Another general rule of thumb is put your armpit on your saddle, reach down, and your middle finger should just touch the center of your crank, right, right in the bottom bracket. And that should get you right about in the correct position of where you need to be. The next important thing to do is make sure that your cockpit ergonomics are right. And what that means is just that when your hands are on the handlebars, you can reach everything that you need to reach. The most important thing, obviously, are your brake levers. So you need to, you need to feel where you're, where you're gonna be riding, how you're gonna be gripping your bars, and make sure that it feels natural to have your fingers on your brakes and, and able to squeeze them so you can stop properly. The next thing, make sure that you can reach your shifter lever. So as your hands are on your bars, fingers are on your brakes, make sure it's easy for your thumb to get on your shifter so you can shift into a harder gear, shift into an easier gear. As your bike setups start to get more advanced, you'll have more levers such as a dropper post or a lockout lever, and you need to do the same thing. Make sure that you can reach all your levers from your cockpit without really having to move your hands. When you're out on the trail, starting to ride faster or just riding anywhere, you wanna make sure that you always have a strong grip on your bars you're able to touch all of these levers and controls. The next thing to set up on your bike is your tire pressure. And a very common mistake is people will read the recommended pressure on their tire casing and pump it up to the max amount. And I, I would avoid doing that because it can be very dangerous when you have your tires overinflated on loose terrain. It can be really slippery. Um, I prefer to run about 18 PSI it's absolutely a trial and error thing, but the lower pressure you run, the more grip your bike will have. The downside to running low pressure is you increase your chances of hitting your rim and puncturing. So it's a total trial and error that you'll develop over time, but always make sure you know how much pressure is in your tires. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Our goal here is to help people get outside more. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.